We have been talking about the truth that God is relational. And that through Jesus Christ we have a relationship with God. But what we need to understand as Christians is that although we have a relationship with God, and it's founded upon the perfect work of Christ. And that He will never leave us or forsake us. We must still understand a central truth. We are called upon not only to cultivate a relationship with Him, but also to protect our communion with Him. Now, ultimately, God is the one who protects us. And our salvation is by grace. And we are kept by grace. And yet, on the human side, you and I should be very cautious. To avoid anything that would be an obstacle between us and our communion with God. And so that's what we're going to look at now. The need to walk in holiness. The need to realize that we are living in a very dangerous land. That we are surrounded by enemies who desire that we fall. They desire that we misrepresent our God. And also they know that our strength, our faith, our power, our ability to walk, it is all derived. It comes through our communion with God. Now, let's turn to 1 Corinthians chapter 6, uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 6. The city of Corinth was a wicked, wicked place. 哥林多这个城市是一个非常邪恶的地方。As a matter of fact, the word Corinth was turned into a verb. That basically meant to sin. To Corinthianize. <laughs> That's how wicked this place was. And there was a redeemed community in the middle of this city. And they were struggling. In their relationship with the world. And in many ways, the world was coming in and contaminating them. Damaging their testimony. And damaging their communion with God. So Paul speaks very severely to them, very strictly. His words are very similar to the words of Jesus. When Jesus said, if your right eye causes you to stumble, tear it out. If your right hand causes you to stumble, cut it off. Now, he does not mean that we should rip our eyes out and cut our hands off. It is a hyperbole. It's an exaggerated statement in order to communicate a truth. We are to take drastic measures against sin. 
Let me give you some practical examples. A television is actually a neutral thing. But if it causes you to stumble, throw it out the window. Make sure no one's down below before you do it. <laughs> A computer is a neutral thing. Very helpful. But if it's causing you to stumble, smash it. Now you think that's a little radical, don't you? Sin is deadly. If you knew that thing would give you cancer, would you ever touch it again? Cancer kills the body. Sin kills the soul. If you're a young person and you like video games, that's not necessarily evil. Again, it's something neutral. At least some of the games. But if you do it all the time, you think about it all the time, and you're a Christian, you need to get rid of it. If you're not mature enough to handle it, you need to get it away from you. Never forget, you will give an account for every moment of your day. And how you wasted the gifts God gave you. Now, let's look at chapter 6. Verse 14. Do not be bound together with unbelievers. For what partnership have righteousness and lawlessness? Or what fellowship has light with darkness? Now, when it says do not be bound together, it literally means do not be unequally yoked. Now, what does this mean? A yoke was usually made out of wood, and there were single yokes that would be put on one ox. And that ox would, it was tied to leather straps or ropes and that ox would pull a plow or a, a wagon. But now there were also double yokes in which two oxen would be put side by side. Now there's one thing about that kind of relationship. Both of them have to go in the same direction. They have no other options. They have to go in the same direction. Now, what is it saying here? Well, first of all, it's not saying that we should never have any relationship with unbelievers. Because if that was the case, we would all have to move to some place where there's no people. It'd be impossible for us to have a business. Or to go to school. Or to even be with some of our family. Now what does it mean? Do not get in a relationship with an unbeliever. That is going to begin to influence your life. And take control of the direction of your life. Or make it difficult to walk as you ought to walk as a Christian. Now, a lot of times, this, is, this counsel is given with regard to marriage. And that's true. A young Christian should not marry an unbeliever. But let me also say this. Sometimes parents are not very smart. A young girl who's a Christian, 
一个年轻的姊妹信主 ，starts looking at a boy who's not a Christian、呃。开始对一个不信主的男孩感兴趣了。That right there is problem。这这一开始就是问题了，对不对 ？But then the boy starts coming to church。然后这个男孩来教会了。He gets converted。然后就得救啦。And now it's okay。啊，现在没关系啦。That is ridiculous。这个是疯了，这个是不可思议的。She still should not be with him. 她这个女孩不应该跟男孩在一块。Why? 为什么 ？Can he be a spiritual leader? 这个男孩能够成为一个属灵领袖吗 ？Because if he can't lead her spiritually, 如果这男孩不能够带领，属灵上带领她，领 sort of relationship with him. 他就不应该跟他有任何关系。Secondly, how do you know that he's really come to love Jesus Christ? 第二，你怎么知道那个男孩是真正的爱上耶稣了 ？He may just have come to love your daughter. He needs to grow. This boy needs to grow. Not six months. Not six months. Not a year. Not a year. But a couple of years at least. At least two years. Without any hope that he is going to take your daughter. This two years of effort, he needs to grow. He needs to do it for the sake of Christ. He needs to grow. 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 How many young men have gotten converted? 多少男孩归信主啦 ？Taken a girl who's a young Christian. 呃，为了要跟一个基督徒女孩结婚。Married her. 跟她结婚了之后呢 ？And never walked back in church again. 然后就拜拜了，不回教会了。Don't be foolish. 不要。But this, this just doesn't have to do with marriage. This, 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 You should not enter into a relationship with someone in business that's going to begin to turn your business to something that is not Christian. 如果这个人会会把你的事业变成非基督徒的事业，你也不要跟他建立任何关系。It is hard enough to walk the Christian life when we're not yoked with anyone. 我我们单独与神同行。不跟任何人同福一额的时候，已经够难了。How much harder is it when we're yoked with an unbeliever? 何况我们跟不信的人同福一额的时候，更是难。Now he he gives us some reasons of why we should not be bound together or unequally yoked with unbelievers. 他给了我们一些原因，为什么我们不应该跟不信的同福一额 ？And he gives us some things that are complete opposites of one another. 这里给了我们一些例子啊，都是完全相反的。What partnership have righteousness and lawlessness? 好，义和不义有什么相交呢 ？The answer. 答案是 They don't. 嗯嗯，没有任何相交。There is no partnership. 没有任何相交。They are bitter enemies. 他们是完全相反，水火不容。What is righteousness? 义，什么是义呢 ？It's conformity to a standard. 是是根据一个标准。Conformity to the nature of God as it is revealed in His law. 像把根据照着神的律法的标准，把神的本质表现出来。So it is obedience to the law of God, the will of God. 就是顺服神的律法，就是。What is lawlessness? 什么叫不义呢 ？To live as though God never gave a law to obey. 就好像神从来没有给我们一个律法。要要遵循的，就是无法无天了。What do the two things have in common? 这两者什么什么相相交呢 ？Nothing. 这毫不相干。What agreement is there between them? 他们之间有什么相合呢 ？There is no agreement. 没有任何相似之处。In the same way, there's no agreement in the life of a true believer and an unbeliever. 同样道理，一个真信徒跟一个不信的人没有任何关系。What fellowship does light have with darkness? 光明和黑暗有什么相通呢 ？None. 没有任何相通。Light is light. 光是光 Darkness is dark. 暗是暗 The two are complete opposites. 两者是相反 You know what the most dangerous thing is? 你知道世上最危险的是什么事吗 ？It's not light. 不是光 It's not darkness. 也不是暗 It's gray. 那是灰 When light 
tries to mix with darkness. 当光和暗要混合的时候 ，When a believer compromises his faith， 当一个信徒妥协他的信仰的时候 ，And he's no longer white， 他不不再是白的了 ，He's gray， 他那是灰的了 ，He's in the middle， 他在当中。You say, well, it's just a little bit. You say, 就那么一点点嘛 Okay, well, let's apply that. 好，让我们应用 to an illustration. 我我们比做个比喻 Let's say I make some brownies. 比如说我做一些饼干 Wonderful brownies. 很好的饼干 Chocolate brownies. 呃，巧克力饼干 They're so wonderful. 嗯 And I bring them out to you. 我把它拿出来给你 And I say, would you like a brownie? 我说你喜欢我的 And you say, oh yes, most certainly I would. 我喜欢喽 And I say now before you eat these. 我说你吃之前呢。I want you to know. 我要你知道。That in ninety nine percent. 百分之九十九的情况。Of the stuff I use to make the brownies. 我我我来造做做这个饼干的东西。Ninety nine percent of it is the best ingredients, the finest, purest ingredients that you could ever use. 是最纯正的、最美好的材料做的。You say, "Well, that's wonderful." You say, 太好了，九十九 And you get ready to reach for one. 你正要想要吃的时候 And then you stop. 你停了 And you go. 你说呃 Ninety nine percent. 百分之九十九 Is the is pure. 是纯正的 Ingredients. 纯正的材料是吧 What's the other one percent? 那百分之一呢 And I say, "Well, what does it matter?" 说这什么关系 It's just one percent. 只有百分之一嘛 And you say, "Well, I'd like to know." 我想知道 And I say, "Well, it's just a little bit." 只有那么一点点嘛 You say, "Well, what is it?" You say, "What is it?" I say, "Dog manure." I say, "Dog manure." That's exactly what you're saying. This is you said. When you go, that movie had only a little bit of nudity in it. That movie had only a little bit of nudity in it. That movie just used the Lord's name in vain twice. This, this, two times. 滥用神的名，妄称神的名，你听到没有 ？Do you see？ 你看到没有 ？We need to be careful, don't we？ 我们要很谨慎，对不对 ？Isn't it amazing？ 这不是叫人惊讶吗 ？If you take clean water， 如果你把干净的水 ，and pour mud into it， 然后倒一点点烂泥 ，the mud doesn't get cleaner。烂泥不会变干净。The water gets dirtier. 水会被玷污。Okay. Now another thing that you need to understand. 另外一件你要了解的。Young ladies especially. 尤其是年轻的女孩子。There's no such thing as missionary dating. 没有，呃，福音性的恋爱。Some girls in the church. 有一些教会女孩 They never do evangelism. 她们从来不布道传福音 But then one day they see a handsome, unbelieving boy. 那有一天她们看了个大帅哥 And they all start becoming evangelists. 突然她们变成很爱传福音 They want to reach him. They want to build a relationship with him. Want to build a relationship with him. In order to win him to Christ. How come they don't care about the souls of the ugly guys? Why do they not care about the souls of the ugly guys? Why do they not care about the souls of the ugly guys? Why do they not care about the souls of the ugly guys? Why do they not care about the souls of the ugly guys? Why do they not care about the souls of the ugly guys? Why do they not care about the souls of the ugly guys? Why do they not care about the souls of the ugly guys? Why do they not care about the souls of the ugly guys? Why do they not care about the souls of the ugly guys? Why do they not care about the souls of the ugly guys? Why do they not care about the souls of the ugly guys? Why do they not care about the souls of the ugly guys? Why do they not care about the souls of the ugly guys? Why do they not care about the souls of the ugly guys? Why do they not care about the souls of the ugly guys? Why do they not care about the souls of the ugly guys? Why do they not What harmony has Christ with Belial? 基督与比列有什么相合呢 ？A lot of times, this word is used to describe the devil. 哦，往往这个词比列是在形容撒旦。What harmony is there between Jesus and Satan? 哎，基督跟撒旦有什么相合呢 ？Absolutely zero. 毫不相干，零。As a matter of fact, First John tells us that he came to destroy the works of the devil. 其实约翰一书告诉我们，他来是要是要毁灭撒旦的。John also tells us in his gospel that the thief comes to steal and kill and destroy. 因为盗贼来为要偷窃、杀害、毁坏。There is no agreement between them. 这两者之间毫无相干。So there should be no agreement between us and the world. So we 跟世界应该水火不容 That doesn't mean that we hate unbelievers. 不是说我们恨恶不信的人 It doesn't mean that we hate the world around us. 也不是说我们恨恶我们周围的人 But it does mean this. 
但意思乃是 ，We are not going to enter into any agreement with the world. 我们不要跟世界有任何的妥协。We are not going to accept their values. 我们不要接纳他们的价值观。We are not going to allow them to compromise us. 我们不要使他们让他们使我们妥协。And then he says, "What has a believer in common with an unbeliever?" 就是说，信主的和不信的有什么相干呢？ Now notice that there is a great difference between the believer and unbeliever. 好，注意啊，信主的跟不信主有个很大的区别。Because he puts it in the same verse with Christ and the devil. 因为这里他他讲的同一段经文里头讲到基督和撒旦的不同。How much do we have in common with an unbeliever? 我们跟不信主的什么什么样不同呢 ？How much does Christ have in common with the devil? 正如基督和撒旦之间的不同。Now again, 再一次啊 ，We should love the unbeliever. 我们应该爱不信主的人。We should seek to bless the unbeliever. 我们应该祝福他们。We should help the unbeliever. We should reach out to 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 the 在耶路撒冷的圣殿里发生的最糟糕的一件事 ，was when pagan idols would be erected in the temple. 就是当外邦人的偶像在神的殿里头树立起来了。Basically, it's asking this question. 基本上在问这个问题。What does God have in common with false pagan idols? 神跟那些虚假的外邦的偶像有什么相干呢？ Absolutely nothing. 绝对毫不相干。Now he says, "For we are the temple of the living God." 自己说，因为我们是永生神的殿。Now, 好 ，We're the temple. 我们是殿。Here's a question we need to ask ourselves. 我们需要问自己这个问题。Do we have idols in our heart? 我们心中有没有偶像啊 ？Do we have idols in our heart? 我们心里有没有偶像 ？You say, "Well, what's an idol?" 你说什么是偶像？ Anything that consumes your thoughts and passions. 任何叫我们的心思意念都都都专注在其上的事，就是。What is most important to you? 对你来说，什么是最重要的 ？What do you most think about? 你想的最多的是什么 ？That is your idol. 那就是你的偶像。Calvin said that our hearts were idol factories. 加尔文说，我们人心是制造偶像的工厂。And that's true. 真的。Do you know why most people are depressed or Christians? 大多数基督徒为什么他们为什么会忧忧郁呢 ？They have idols in their heart. 因为他们心里有偶像。They have expectations that God is not fulfilling. 他们有一些期盼，但是神却没有成全。And so they become depressed or angry because things aren't going the way. 所以他们就生气了，他们就忧郁了，因为他们心想不成。We need to be very careful. 我们需要很谨慎。Now, but let me give you a little bit of balance here. 好，这里让我给你一些平衡啊。I enjoy life. 我很喜欢生活。I love to go out in the woods. 我喜欢到树林里头。I like kayaking. 我喜欢呃，那个 kayaking 那个是叫什么？划船哦，划。I like to hunt and fish. 我喜欢呃打猎，喜欢钓鱼。I like to build things like furniture for my wife. 我喜欢做木匠的活，替我替我妻子做一些呃桌椅啊东西的。I like to look at science. 我喜欢呃研究科学。I enjoy mathematics. 我很喜欢算数学。But in all those things, 但在这一切的活动中 ，I see the hand of God. 我看到神的手。I enjoy God. 因为我很享受神。I study the scriptures. 我也研读圣经。And I pray. 我还祷告。But I'm not saying that the only thing you must do in your whole life is study the scriptures, pray, and evangelize. But I, I, I'm not saying that you only have to study the scriptures, pray, and evangelize. We are called to live. 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 And we are called to grow to maturity. We also need to grow and mature so that we can even enjoy the gifts of God. So we can even enjoy the gifts of God. So we can even enjoy the gifts of God. So we can even enjoy the gifts of God. So we can even enjoy the gifts of God. So we can even enjoy the gifts of God. So we can even enjoy the gifts of God. So we can even enjoy the gifts of God. So we can even enjoy the gifts of God. So we can even enjoy the gifts of God. So we can even enjoy the gifts of God. So we can even enjoy the gifts of God. So we can even enjoy the gifts of God. So we can even enjoy the gifts of God. So we can even enjoy the gifts of God. So we can even enjoy the gifts of God. So we can even enjoy the gifts of God. So we can even enjoy the gifts of God. So we can even enjoy the gifts of God. So we can even enjoy the gifts of
We're not supposed to think everything is sin unless it's a gospel track or a Bible. 除非我们不要以为，除非都是圣经啊，或者是这个福音单章啊，要不然就是犯罪了。不要这样这么认为啊。Let me give you an example. 让我给你个例子。God put leaves on trees. He didn't put gospel tracks. 神把叶子放在树上，没有把那个福音单章放在树上啊。But all these things reflect His glory. That 所有这一切都在彰显神的荣耀。Lead to His praise. 使我们能够颂扬他。And praise from us. 呃，也叫我们赞美他。So I don't want you to enter into a legalism. 所以你不要进入一种律法主义。That is crippling. 呃，这个律法主义叫你瘫痪。Especially with regard to your children. 特别对待你的孩子。The only thing they can do is go to church, read the Bible, and pray. 那只准他们上教会读经祷告。That's not the way I want you to live. 这不是我们的生活。They need to learn to enjoy life. 他们需要享受人生。But always in the context of God and His glory. 但是总是为了神的荣耀和神的这个。And it's it's a difficult balance. This is a very difficult balance. And that's why we need to renew our minds so that we have the wisdom we need to carry out that balance. So we need to be constantly renewed and renewed, like we need to be constantly maintaining this balance. It's very important. This is very important. Now, he says in verse sixteen. It's a promise. I will dwell in them and walk among them, and I will be their God, and they shall be my people. Oh, this is a promise. Ah, God said, "I will dwell in them, walk among them, and I will be their God, and they shall be my people." I will dwell in them, walk among them, and I will be their God, and they shall be my people. I will dwell in them, walk among them, and I will be their God, and they shall be my people. I will dwell in them, walk among them, and I will be their God, and they shall be my people. I will dwell in them, walk among them, and I will be their God, and they shall be my people. I will dwell in them, walk among them, and I will be their God, and they shall be my people. He was preaching over in Europe. 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 He was preaching over in He was pouring himself out, explaining to the people how privileged we are because God has given us His Son and fellowship with Him. He 倾心吐意，告诉我们神赐下他独生子，好叫我们能够跟他发生关系，建立关系。He was pouring out his life, saying that throughout all eternity we get to be with Jesus. He, 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 As though Christ was not enough. 好像有基督还不够一样。Well, I want you to think about this. 我要你好好想一想。God looks at you. 神看着你。And He says, "Listen." 他说听。I will dwell in you. 我会住在你们中间。I will walk with you. 我在你们中间来往。I will be your God. 我要做你的神。And you shall be my people. 你们要做我的子民。And you say, "What else do we get?" 还有什么？ That's basically what the prosperity movement does. This is 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 basically what the prosperity Going to your wife, to propose to her, and you say you get down on your knees, you say I love you, I pledge my life to you, I will die for you, I will give every every drop of blood for you. And she says this. That's really nice, but what kind of car do you drive? 挺好的。那你开的是什么牌子的车 ？And what kind of house can you give me? 你给我什么样的房子啊 ？And can you give me a printout of your bank account? 你可不可以把你那个银行的存款存折给我看看 ？But do you see what we do? 你看我们干的什么事儿 
What else will you do for me, God? It just shows how dull we are. People dream, don't they, of being able to fly? Just being able to fly. To fly throughout all the universe. And see all the glory of creation. Wouldn't that be wonderful? That's like walking through a dark sewer. Compared to one glimpse of God. But we're so dull in our heart that we don't recognize it. But the more we renew our, our minds in the scripture, the more we will see it. He says in verse 17, after giving us the promise, therefore come out from their midst and be separate, says the Lord. Now again, this does not mean that we all, all need to move up into the mountains where there are no unbelievers. It means don't participate in their works. Don't love what they love. Don't try to be like them. He even says, he says, do not Touch what is unclean. Don't even touch it. Have you ever had like a white shirt on? I'm terrified to eat when I have a white shirt on. Because if I get one spot on it, my wife will kill me. I mean, a black shirt really doesn't matter. You can hide it. But a white shirt. And when we get out of the car, we don't want to touch the side of the car. We don't want our shirt to get dirty. I have a dog at home. A Rottweiler. Big dog. Jumps on you. And you get out of the car. It's like, get back. Don't you get near me. I got a white shirt on. You get it dirty. And my wife's going to kill you and me. And the dog goes, okay. Don't touch it. Now there's another thing about this word touch. There was this guy one time, and he was really kind of small. But he was a really good fighter. And these guys walked up to him and went like this to start a fight. And he said, Don't touch me again. Don't touch me again. And the guy goes, Why? He said, Because I will touch you back. Now that's the way sin is. Imagine that this is sin. You look at it. What should you do? Run. Run. You're not told to fight it. You're told to get away from it. But you stare. It, it never ends there, does it? Then it's like, well, I can touch it. Just quickly. Just for a moment. I can do it just one time. But then what happens? We don't just touch it. We take hold of it. But then what happens? It takes hold of us. That's sin. Every kind of sin. And know this. Men and women do not fall into sin. They slide into sin. 
It starts by little compromises. 从很小的妥协开始，一点一点。And before you know it, you have slid. 然后不知不觉的你就滑进去了。And you are trapped. 你就被。God says, "Do not touch what is unclean." 神说不要沾不洁净的物。And I will welcome you. 我就收纳你。Now we have to be careful here. 这里我们很小心啊。We are welcomed before God in Christ. We are 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 in Far above what other Christians could even dream of. 远远超过其他基督徒甚至可以想象的亲密。And I believe this is the reason. 我想原因在乎这里。They want God. 因为他们渴慕神。To what degree? 到什么地步 ？That they're willing to let go of everything else. 他们愿意放弃一切其他的。When my children were all learning to walk. 当我的孩子开始学步的时候。You know they would pull themselves up on a chair. 你知道他们会把自己。And they'd hold on to the chair. 抓住的椅子。And I would stand really close. 我会站在他们旁边很近。And I'd say, "Come here." 来来。Come here. 来啊。And they would reach out. 他们会。But still holding on to the chair. And I would always stay just a few inches farther away. And let them know if you want dad, you've got to let go of the chair. Let them know if you want dad, you've got to let go of the chair. You need to make a decision. Now your dad loves you. Your dad will die for you. But if you want your dad to take you in his arms, that 如果你要你爸爸抱在他的怀里 ，you're gonna have to let go of the chair. 你必须放掉椅子。You can't have both things. 你不能够一举两得。That's the same way in our communion with God. 这是跟我们神，我们跟神的关系也是这样。Years ago, I was kind of struggling as a young believer. 呃，很多年前，我身为一个粗心的基督徒，我有一些挣扎。Just fighting d e p r e s s i o 跟我的忧郁啊，那些挣扎。And Leonard Ravenhill sent me a track. 有一个布道家给我了一个单张。And the track said, "Others can, but you cannot." 上面有一句话说，别人可以，你不可以。And what it was is basically this. 啊，基本上他说的是。Other Christians may be able to go see that movie. 别的基督徒也许可以看那个电影。Other Christians may be able to do those things. 别的基督徒也许可以做那些事儿。But if you want the power of God on your life, 但如果你要得着神的能力，你不能。If you want special communion with God, 如果你要跟神有特别的交通，你不能。And you have to make a choice. You 必须做决定。And I'm telling you, you have to make a choice. 我告诉你，你必须做决定。You can't have both things. 你不能够两者兼得。于此。I tell this story. That I heard many years ago. I, 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 Came up to him. The young man was a violinist also. And this is what he said. He said, "Sir, I would give my life to play like you." 先生呢，我愿意一生奉献，能够能够跟你演奏一样好就好了。我我愿付任何代价。You know what the old man said? 你知道这个年老的人怎么说 ？I have given my life to play like me. 我。的确付出一辈子的代价，才能演奏的那么如此好。You may see someone and say, "I would give anything to have a relationship with God like they have." 你可可能看到一些人羡慕他们，说，哎呀，我愿意付出任何代价，像他一样跟神有亲密的关系。I would give everything. 我我愿付出，不惜任何代价。They have. 他们的确付出这样的代价。They have. 他们付了。There are so many people who talk about what they would do. Many people will talk about what they would do. Many people will talk about what they would do. Many people will talk about what they would do. Many people will talk about what they would do. Many people will talk about what they would do. Many people will talk about what they would do. Many people will talk about what they would do. Many people will talk about what they would do. Many people will talk about what they would do. Many people will talk about what they would do. Many people will talk about what they would do. Many people will talk about what they would do. Many people will talk about what they would do. Many people will talk about what
所有的活过人当中。Has it? No one has ever exhausted the communion with God that He offers. 没有人进到神所赐给我们的这个亲密交通当中的这么亲密当中。No one has taken it to the limits. 没有人能够完全享用这个交通。Maybe you should make it your goal. 也许你应该让这个成为你生命的目标。To have the deepest communion with God that any person on this planet has ever had. 成为全世界跟神有最深的交通的那一个人。So many ministers, they want to have a big ministry. 很多的传道人想要有一个很大的施工。Or they want to preach well. 想要做一个很大伟大的传道人。Maybe they're missing the most important point. 也许他们。没有抓住最重要的一点。If our communion with God is intact， 如果我们跟神的关系是密切的 ，If it is deep，If it is deep， 是深厚的 ，Then all the other things will fall in place。其他一切的事都会迎刃而解。Then he says in verse eighteen， and I will be a father to you， and you shall be sons and daughters to me， says the Lord Almighty。十八节，我要做你们的父，你们要做我的儿女，这是全能的主说的。And we are all sons and daughters in Christ. 我们在基督里都是神的儿女啊。But but I believe there are some believers. 但我相信有一些信徒。In which this idea of sonship and daughtership. 在在在这个这个儿女的概念啊。Is a much greater reality. 在他们身上是一个更深的一个事实。They have a much greater sense of what it means. 他们对这个儿女跟父的关系有一个更深切的认识。And again, for what reason? Why? 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 The first time I met him, when I looked into his face, I broke down crying. There was such the presence and the life and the love of God in his face. Another man I know who is so godly, he has been used all over Romania to to. To bless the Romanian people. He in Romania has been used all over to bless the Romanian people. He in Romania has been used all over to bless the Romanian people. He in Romania has been used all over to bless the Romanian people. He in Romania has been used all over to bless the Romanian people. He in Romania has been used all over to bless the Romanian people. He in Romania has been used all over to bless the Romanian people. He in Romania has been used all over to bless the Romanian people. He in Romania has been used all over to bless the Romanian people. He in Romania has been used all over to bless the Romanian people. He in Romania has been used all over to bless the Romanian people. He in Romania has been used all over to bless the Romanian people. He in Romania has been used all over to bless the Romanian people. He in Romania has been used all over to bless the Romanian people. He in Romania has been used all over to bless the Romanian people. He in Romania has been used all over to bless the Romanian people. He in Romania has been used all over to bless the Romanian people. He in Romania has been used all over to bless the Romanian people. He in Romania has been used all over to bless the Romanian people. He in Romania has been Professional ministry. I'm not talking about you have to get into some sort of professional ministry. I'm not talking about you have to get into some sort of professional ministry. I'm not talking about you have to get into some sort of professional ministry. I'm not talking about you have to get into some sort of professional ministry. I'm not talking about you have to get into some sort of professional ministry. I'm not talking about you have to get into some sort of professional ministry. I'm not talking about you have to get into some sort of professional ministry. I'm not talking about you have to get into some sort of professional ministry. I'm not talking about you have to get into some sort of professional ministry. I'm not talking about you have to get into some sort of professional ministry. I'm not talking about you have to get into some sort of professional ministry. I'm not talking about you have to get into some sort of professional ministry. I'm not talking about you have to get into some sort of professional ministry. I'm not talking about you have to get into some sort of professional
But there's something else that's become even a greater awareness. 但是还有一些事情变得更重要，更。Is that the Holy Spirit dwells in me? 就是圣灵住在我里面。Am I going to enter into something that's going to grieve this person who dwells in me? 我我是否要做一些事情叫住在我里面的圣灵忧愁呢 ？If I break a law, 如果我触犯了律法 ，I break a law. 我触犯这个律法而已。I do damage to self. 我我我我伤害自己。But then to think to break God's law is to offend God. To grieve His spirit. That adds a lot more meaning, doesn't it? If we love a person, we do not want to grieve them. Now, look at verse, chapter 7, verse 1. Therefore, therefore, having these promises, 好，既有这等应许 ，What are the promises? 什么应许呢 ？That God will commune with us. 神会与我们同住 ，As a father does with his sons and daughters. 正如父跟儿女的交通一 There is no greater promise. 没有更大的应许。There's nothing else we could ask. 我不可能要求的超过这个了。If he gave us the entire universe, it would be smaller than what he's promising us here. 就算他把全世界都给我们，也也也不能够超过他所应许的这。So he gives us two motivations. 好，他给我们两个动机。The promises of God. 一是神的应许。And also he says, beloved. 而且他说，亲爱的弟兄啊。What should motivate us to godliness? 什么是给我们？ God's promise of communion. 一是神对我们这交通的应许。And the fact that God considers us His beloved. 二是神看我们是亲爱的。His beloved. 亲爱的弟兄。His beloved child. 他亲爱的儿女啊。Imagine a father who has a little daughter. His only daughter, 唯一的独生女 precious to him, 宝贝的女儿 and she grows up, 她长大 and becomes a tramp, 成了一个一个无家可归的一个阿飞女 soiled, 被玷污了 sinful, 犯罪了 used, 被人滥用了 How his heart grieves. His father's heart is how much grief. It's my daughter. This is my daughter. Was the same way with the Lord. The Lord is like that. Were his sons. We are his daughters. His daughters. His daughters. Let us maintain our communion with Him. Let us not grieve 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 Regarding his providence for us, 也许我们没有因着他安排的环境跟神辩论。But we daydream of being something other than what we are. 但是我们做白日梦，我们想要成为另外一些东西。It's it's not just outwardly. 你知道，不仅是外表。It's in our heart of hearts. 那是我们的内心的深处。And that's what matters to God. 这对神来说是最重要的。Now what does He tell us to do? 他叫我们做什么呢？ Perfecting holiness in the fear of God. 要敬畏神得以成圣。Having a deep and abiding reverence and respect for God. 对神有一种敬畏的、长久的敬畏的心。We should perfect holiness. 我们要得以成圣。That doesn't mean we will become perfect. 这不是说我们十全十美。
But it means much of what Paul was saying in Philippians chapter three. We need to press on to know the Lord. We need to press on to become more like His Son. We need to strive and to labor to be more and more free from the world and more and more given to God. Remember what I said about eternal life? It begins when we're converted. And that it means that we are chasing down God. To know more and more of Him. To have deeper and deeper communion with Him. Well, here the similar thing is being said. When we were converted, we were set on the road to become more and more holy. We should seek to be more and more holy. But now let me give you a warning again. True holiness leads to two things. Well, it leads to many things. But I want to mention two of them. True holiness will result in love and joy. I know a lot of people who are trying to be holy. And they have less and less joy. And they have less and less love. Critical spirit. Judgmental of everyone. That's not true holiness. When time I was with my wife in Romania. And some of the ladies there dress in a very I think it's a very good way, but the dress is all the way down to the floor. Long sleeves. No makeup. Hat. No earrings, nothing. And, and if someone wants to do that for the Lord, praise God. Praise God. I, I don't have a problem. I think that's wonderful. If they're doing that unto the Lord. My wife's not like that. She kind of dresses normal. Not, not sensual. But, but just normal. And this girl walked up to her. About 25 years old. But she looked like she was 40. And she started criticizing my wife. Right to her face. Criticizing me. How could you be married to a woman like this? <laughs> and my wife was very, very wise. She said this. Seeing that the girl was very strict, very stern, very critical, no joy. My wife said, do you have a picture of yourself? The girl said, yes. She said, do you have a picture of yourself before you were converted? The lady said, yes. Child said, can I see it? She pulled the picture out. It's a picture of a normal looking girl. Smiling. My wife looked at the picture. Looked at her. Looked at the picture. And said this. I liked you better when you were unconverted. And then she said this. Look what your religion has done to you. This is, this is not Jesus. You have no joy. You're sad. You're critical. You're mean spirited. You're judging everyone. Your religion hasn't done a whole lot of good for you. Do you see? 
The fruit of the Spirit. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, gentleness, faithfulness. You see that? Now there is a sense in which there's some things we should not touch. There are things we should not watch. And there are things you should not wear. And you should be very careful about the way you look, both men and women. But know this, the holiness that produces purity and modesty the holiness that produces purity and modesty. Also produces joy. Love. Mercy. Compassion. Grace. Do you see? So if these other things do not accompany it, it isn't true holiness. And God calls us to holiness. Let's pray. Please visit our website at heartcrymissionary.com. There you will find information about the ministry, our purpose, beliefs and methodologies and extensive information about the missionaries we are privileged to serve.